so cellular therapy is of different types depending on where the source of stem cells or cells come from the cells that are used in neurogen for the uh, transplantation or grafting uh, is taken from the patient's own bone marrow so when we take the cells from the patient's own bone marrow these are safe they do not have any long term uh, problems or side effects like tumor formation because these are adult stem cells bone marrow contains a mixture of mesenchymal hematopoietic and very small embryonic like stem cells and since these are patient's own cells they do not get rejected um, so there are no long term side effects uh, at neurogen because we are treating only neurological conditions the cells are injected into the spinal fluid um, and thereby they reach the brain very easily now what what are the possible side effects that we expect whether it's a case of autism or cerebral palsy or down syndrome or any other neurological condition there are immediate side effects and there are long term side effects we do not see any long term side effects what we do see immediately in a few children about 10% of patients that we treat every week is a possible spinal headache a spinal headache is because of the procedure when we put the cells into the spinal fluid uh, there can be a low pressure headache where when the child sits up has a headache when he lies down feels better could be associated with vomiting also this is transient and will become all right in 2 to 3 days maximum with proper hydration and intravenous fluids there can be a little pain or soreness in the back or at the site of aspiration for a couple of days painkiller cover is given for the same there can be some increase in hyperactivity transiently for 2 to 3 days maximum up to 15 days to a month the children usually settle down within a month uh, this hyperactivity also denotes that the cells are activating the brain and hence it it is a desirable side effect schizos as a possible side effect is seen in 3 to 6% of patients that we treat uh, in whom there is already a history of schizer or if eeg is abnormal so this is mostly happens only 6 out of 10 max 6 out of 100 cases who already have pre existing history those who do not have a history of schizer or whose he eeg is normal in them the possibility is 0.03% as per the analysis and the statistics uh, of the children that we have treated so far Thank you.